Part 2. Creating and Implementing a Daily Music Practice 5. Music, the Bridge to Retuning Emotions I was born with music inside me. Music was one of my parts. Like my ribs, my liver, my kidneys, my heart. Like my blood. It was a force already within me when I arrived on the scene. It was a necessity for me like food or water. Ray Charles. My dad and mom were music lovers. We had a ton of 45s and 33s. Which were called records for those of you under 40, in a variety of styles and genres. My dad even worked for Mercury Records at one time. Although they encouraged me musically, the common chorus in my house was, music's a nice hobby, but what are you going to do for a living? When a verbal event is repeated frequently and is attached to an emotion, we begin to absorb it into our field and it creates its own frequency. This frequency, when repeated enough times, creates a vibration, or a belief system, centered around the original words. For years I carried my parents' belief that music was a nice hobby but it would not sustain me financially. There was a part of me that did not believe in myself 100% because subconsciously I did not believe my parents did. The truth is that they were passing on limited belief systems about lack of money and poverty that were passed down to them. I had fallen out of tune. Specific negative emotions can trigger limited belief systems, just as striking a tuning fork can induce a piano to vibrate when it resonates with the same note. In my case, situations that involved the energy of lack triggered or induced emotions connected to my limited belief system that I was not capable of making a living doing music. This subconsciously sabotaged my ability to move forward with embracing music as a full-time career. When I finally became aware of this, I was able to make the decision that this inherited belief system needed to stop. It was time to shift the belief system and attune to a new vibration and I had the perfect tool, music. I immersed myself in the songs of other musicians who had overcome their obstacles to create success. Every time I listened to one of their songs, it became a vehicle to charge my passion and shift my limited beliefs. One of my favorites was Bruce Springsteen, who, like me, had grown up in a working-class neighborhood in the tri-state area on the East Coast. Utilizing the power of song and experiencing musical successes allowed me to overcome my old patterning. What I realized was that creating music was not about making a living, it was a powerful vehicle to assist me in creating an amazing life the life that I wanted for myself. Once I achieved this amazing life through music, the money naturally followed. Retuning old belief systems. Our belief systems are similar to a piano. Just as pianos can go out of tune and then be retuned, so can our belief systems. For example, if a piano has not been tuned in a long time, it becomes accustomed to being detuned. The tension of the strings has changed, the relationship of the notes to each other is not optimal and the overtones are not harmonious. When we finally tune the piano back to its optimal tuning, it tends to shift back to the old tension of being detuned. It is used to being this way, and there is literally a pull to return to the old way. We have all experienced the same sensation of detuning, or falling out of alignment, and the pull of returning to our limited belief systems. Most of us come into the world connected and tuned to elevated emotions such as love, appreciation, gratitude, and worthiness. Repetitive events trigger lower vibrational or negative emotions such as shame, guilt, resentment, etc., and we become detuned from the elevated emotions contained in our original birth blueprint. Just like the piano, we can grow 
accustomed to not being tuned properly. It becomes comfortable, and we forget our true potential or our optimal tuning. So how can we retune and maintain without falling back into old patterns and limited belief systems? An excellent way to achieve this is by implementing songs on a daily basis, which can keep us in tune and tapped into our fullest potential. By frequently listening to a song with elevated emotions, you can shift your negative emotions and limited belief system. The key is being present, truly feeling and becoming the emotion in the song and using it as a consistent daily tool. Identifying your musical pinnacle. Music can never be taken away from us because it is embedded in us. As Ray Charles said, music is a necessity. Even if we are not listening to music out loud, our brain remembers it and can access it. Right now, if I want to listen to ABC by the Jackson 5, I can hear it in my mind. Not only can I hear it, I can also feel it and it can transform my current emotional state. We all have a song in our memory banks that triggers joy. Some call it a happy song. I call it a musical pinnacle. It is a song that defines a specific period in your life that you can go back to in an instant and feel the same emotion, usually a time when you were happy. As we discussed before, music cuts through space and time, and transports us to the moment or emotional memory we wish to obtain. Your musical pinnacle acts as a time machine to that specific emotional memory, and it ignites positive emotions in your heart's electromagnetic field and can produce beneficial hormones, chemicals, and molecules from your brain. An example of this would be that when we are experiencing intense pleasure from listening to music, it can lead to the release of dopamine. 17. Dopamine has a number of roles and functions in movement, memory, cognition, and behavior, and it helps control our brain's reward and pleasure centers. Just like Henry, the Alzheimer's patient, your musical pinnacle might be a lifeline for you in a later period in your life. For Henry, music improved his life by bringing him to an alive aware state from a completely disconnected one. Music was a life sparking bridge that transformed his state. Your musical pinnacle, or your happy song, isn't just a way to create a momentary shift, it is an investment in your future health. As you practice with this song further and further, adding additional layers of happy or joyful emotional memories, it will become easier and easier to reconnect with this song anytime you feel unhappy, disconnected, or out of touch. Be the DJ of your life. When you really take the time to understand the role of a great DJ, what they do can be truly amazing. They understand the power of a five-minute song, and ultimately they can utilize these songs to create an energetic musical map to unforgettable events. Think about the music at a wedding reception. When you come into the cocktail hour, the music is all about creating a safe, inviting space. It's usually more intimate, with just acoustic guitar or piano music. Most of the time the music is instrumental, which gives the guests an opportunity to talk and get to know each other without having to shout over song lyrics. The tempo of the music is either mid or slow tempos to allow the guests to begin to relax and get accustomed to the environment. As you move into the reception area, the music changes and the acoustic instrumentals are replaced by full songs. Drums, bass, saxophone, and vocals now fill the space and bring energy, excitement, and fun. The music is a bit louder and faster and feels like it is preparing you for something. During dinner, the music is at a lower volume and allows you to socialize, but still continues to create a feel-good flow. After dinner, the master of ceremonies asks for the bride and her father 
to grace the dance floor with the first dance. They dance to the song, and the bride gently takes a tissue to her father's eye to wipe away a tear. There is not a dry eye in the house. When the dance is over, the groom taps the father of the bride on the shoulder to cut in. The DJ starts playing the song. Celebration by Cool and the gang, and everybody is up and going crazy. For the next hour the music gets louder, faster, and more exciting as it creates a climax to an amazing event. In just a few hours, you were relaxed, emotionally touched, and excited. In addition, your physical body was affected at all of the stages. Music played a powerful and primary role in creating the energetic map for your journey. This was no accident. The DJ knew exactly what songs would work at what times. Imagine taking some of the same principles and applying them to your own life to create an energetic road map to amazing events every day. So now it's your turn to become the DJ of your life. Our first step to using music as a vehicle is to map out where you want to go and how to get there. Playlist protocols. For our purposes, a playlist is a compilation of songs you put together to create a specific mood, emotion, or energetic outcome. Before MP3s. Before CDs, there were jukeboxes where we put in coins and picked records we wanted to hear to create a mood. Now we have the ability to download songs, import them into our library, and create mixes by simply dragging them into a new playlist. If this is sounding foreign to you and you are a bit more old school, you can create your list with pen and paper and play the songs on your list from your CDs or records, 8 tracks, or cassette tapes. There are a few things to consider that will enhance your listening experience and help you in bringing awareness to your musical preferences, which determines your experience. These tips will also help you begin to differentiate between hearing and listening. When we hear something we are merely having a sonic experience. When we listen, we open ourselves up to being affected on a mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual multisensory adventure. Volume How loud you listen to music plays a major role in determining your experience in all types of music. Find a comfortable listening level based on the experience you are looking to have according to your playlist. For relaxing music, I recommend listening at low volumes to encourage a relaxation response. Volume for your inspirational playlist will differ from your relaxation list. In this case, you might want to get up and dance and really feel the music. The music might be a little louder to accommodate that. It's all about what feels good to you. Find your comfort zone. Obviously, if disturbing others is a concern, consider listening with headphones or inviting them to join in. Tempo. Tempo is the speed at which a song is played and is related to BPM, or beats per minute. We discussed BPM and tempo at length in our discussion of heart entrainment, now it's time to put that knowledge to good use. What is the energetic flow you want to create in your playlist? If you are using a playlist to start your day, you might want it to go from slow to fast. So you can ease into the experience and then create more energetic movement. If you are making a playlist for the end of the day, the reverse might be true, you want to move the music from faster to slower tempos. If you are listening to a playlist in the middle of the day to relieve stress and calm down, you might want the tempo to be consistent, staying at the same BPM. In general, slow songs are usually between 40 and 70 BPM. Medium. Tempo songs are between 75 and 115 BPM, and fast songs are 120 BPM and up. If you want to find out the BPM of a song, you can go to 
www.tempotap.com. Tap along with any song using the space bar to find the BPM genre. When you are compiling songs for your playlists, ask yourself if the genre is conducive to the intention of the playlist. If you are creating a relaxation playlist, most of us will not choose heavy metal music for this purpose. Go through your current library of music many times the genres are listed if you are using iTunes. If not, YouTube has playlists for many different genres. Listen to and familiarize yourself with the different feel of each genre so you can create a guideline of how to utilize them in your playlists. This will also better acquaint you with genres that you normally don't listen to but might enjoy. Push yourself out of the box a bit and make it a fun adventure. Rhythm Rhythm is a repeated pattern of movement or sound accented by short and long notes. The rhythmical accents can evoke a certain mood. If you are creating a sensual playlist, using a slow salsa rhythm or Afro-Cuban rhythm can be quite effective because they are very dynamic. If you are creating an exercise playlist, club, or dance music, with its steady, driving rhythm, can motivate your movement. If you are looking for music for a romantic dinner, the smooth rhythm in your favorite jazz album might work wonderfully. Experiment, listen to different rhythms of musical pieces that you love, and see what moods are evoked. Take notes so you can come back and incorporate the themes into your specific playlists. You can use many genres with different rhythms all in one playlist to evoke a targeted emotion. Melody Remember the game show name that tune? What people were using to correctly guess the name of the song was the melody. Melody is the part of the song you can hum or whistle even without the words. Beat It by Michael Jackson is a perfect example of how a melody can continue to be resonant with people years after the song is originally released. DJs still play that song to get people out of their seats 30 years later because the melodic pattern from the bass line is programmed in most of our subconscious memories and makes us feel good. Some other great examples are a Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley and his Comets, Sweet Caroline from Neil Diamond, Piano Man by Billy Joel, or Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. There are times when we might not necessarily want a lot of melody in a musical piece. Music for Sleep is one example. When listening to sleep, music, we don't want a lot of melody because it can tend to put us into our analytical mind of I like that melody or I don't like that melody. Simple, longer tones with less melody work much better to wind us down. And they don't create what I call earworms, a song that won't leave your mind. Think about the theme song from Jeopardy that is an earworm. Now try to get it out of your mind. Lyrics Lyrics are the words in a song. When creating your playlists, consider whether you want songs with lyrics or not. Typically, in relaxation music, full lyrical content that tells a specific story can be distracting, although chanting, which has fewer words and more sounds, can be very conducive to eliciting a relaxation response. Words carry energy, and we listen to songs with words in a more active way because we feel the need to decipher their meaning. Lyrics can also trigger specific emotions. Sometimes lyrics can inspire and ignite us or bring us to tears. They also can create a multi-sensory experience. As we tap into the scenes within the song's words, they evoke our senses. Sometimes repeating lyrics can help reprogram and clear negative emotions, and sometimes they can take us to a very vulnerable state. Make sure you use lyrics to take you to your intended state, rather than one you're not ready to explore as you're composing your playlists. 
Take a minute to look up or listen closely to the lyrics in the song so you won't be triggered by a phrase that takes you to an unintended emotional state. Frequencies As a music producer, I always think creating a song is like building a house out of frequencies. The lower frequencies, bass and low drums, create the foundation for the house. They are the lowest part of the house. Usually the part that connects to the earth. Your mid-frequencies are like the walls of the house. Guitars, keyboards, synthesizers, and vocals start in this range. Your high frequencies are like the roof of the house. They are shakers, cymbals, and the higher end of the vocal and guitar range. These frequencies can also work in a beneficial way and have a spiritual context. The lower tones tend to ground us, so if you are feeling scattered or unfocused, listening to music that has a good amount of bass can make you feel more present. Midrange instruments, such as the hand drums in Native American cultures, are used to clear energy around the body. Listening to higher frequencies tends to connect us more with the ethereal. And breathy tones are great for clearing mind chatter and opening up our intuition and spiritual connection. As we discussed in Chapter 3, utilizing specific frequencies can help you induce and entrain to particular brain states. Use the brain waves chart in Chapter 3 as a quick reference guide for embedded frequencies. Chord slash modes. When we play different notes together they create chords. Different chords, or modes, can create different emotional experiences. Minor chords can make you feel sad, contemplative, and retrospective, while major chords can make you feel happy, confident, and inspired. Here are some basic emotions that are associated with different chords or modes. Major chords confident, happy, elevated, inspired, extrovert. Minor chords sad, somber, introspective. Diminished chords ominous, haunting, spooky. Suspended chords tense, anticipatory. Augmented ninth chords dramatic, very present. Major seventh chords dreamy, sensual. You probably have experienced all of the above listed modes, although you may not know the particular names of the chords that were played. You really don't need to listen to the feelings that the music evokes in you and see if it is steering you in the direction you want to go. Keeping these playlist protocols in mind will help as you begin to design new playlists. When we can truly listen to the music within, as discussed in Chapter 1, it deepens our experience of recorded and live music. When the external music resonates with the internal music, the heartbeat, the breath, and the sigh, the seed of transformation is nurtured. Listening can be an adventure, and where adventure is invited, transformation awaits. Sound tools for transformation. Here are some powerful suggestions for implementing some of this. Chapters concepts to create transformation in your life right now. Is there a belief system that has been holding you back from something? Write it down. If you were a doctor, what would be the one song you would prescribe to yourself today to assist you in reprogramming that belief? Looking at your schedule tomorrow, become the DJ of your day. What songs can guide you toward the energy you need during different situations in your day? Find a song from another culture that moves you. Close your eyes and create a five minute vacation, allowing the music to transport you to that culture. See the beauty, smell the smells, taste the foods. I have also suggested a song below. Practice using your musical pinnacle, or happy song, throughout your day to invite the emotion of joy whenever you need a pick-me-up. Hum, sing, or simply tap out the beat to reconnect with your memories of happiness and allow it to shift you into an elevated and positive state. Suggested music. 
La Isla Bonita by Madonna The Relaxing Rhythms and Gentle World Melodies transport you to a beautiful tropical island in under 5 minutes. The perfect song to take a virtual vacation to.